Oh, we'll add a short video regarding the base uh, formulas for um, generating uh, uh, the output in uh, Master of Orion 3. Uh, start with bioharvesting and mining this. Those formulas are uh, most accurate since they are have been actually presented by a um, developer of the game, Mr. Tom Hughes for which we are forever grateful um, most um, um, output formulas for this uh, in the game are uh, on the high level they are the same formula but uh, of course the the various terms will, will have our values um, let's begin with the bioharvesting gas so base efficiency plus some base efficiency modifier um, multiplied by efficiency modes which are <laughs> a ton of multipliers which I'll cover uh, at the end because since they um, they affect all the, the outputs the same and their capacity this is uh, uh, for all the as this starts at 1 it's 100% multiplier but then there's uh, all sorts of for each uh, particular there all sorts of uh, add-ons that can increase capacity while in the same time uh, increasing the population uh, required to, to run effectively um, the capacity upgrades of course are different for each type of there with different technology different costs um, uh, forced labor units also uh, th this is where they apply uh, on the capacity upgrade mm, back to the base efficiency for bio harvesting the, the base uh, efficiency term it's uh, it, it basically take it off uh, from a table let's see for most races that uh, consume uh, That consume uh, food. This is the table you need to look at. You don't care all about all that stuff. So say you put a farm, uh, the terrain for for bio harvesting uh, the matters. So it, uh, it needs to be on planes for maximum efficiency. If you look at, uh, at every any uh, level of uh, regional fertility, this is going to be. This is a the statistic of partic uh, particular region can have uh, fertility ranging from toxic, hostile, barren. It's increasing up to arable, fertile, alluvial, lush. And uh, then, uh, based on the terrain, you get additional bonus. So, for example, uh, if you put uh, a farm on a broken uh, fertile, region with broken terrain type you will get a base efficiency of 5 from uh, um, bio harvesting efficiency assuming you're not playing uh, cybernetics or silicoids because those those <laughs> the cybernetics don't care about uh, uh, terrain type they get the the broken uh, value uh, again on the mountains on plains farming they are a bit weird and um, the geodic species are uh, which is only the liquids are uh, reversed they prefer to have the forms they get most bonuses if you put the farms on mountains um, that is very interesting since um, they don't actually eat the food <laughs> they, they can uh, farm to a certain extent but the food generated they will not eat uh, there's some later uh, um, technologies that unlock ability for industry to feed with uh, with food as well so that could be a reason for farming with them uh, also obviously farming uh, uh, generates uh, a bit of cash and uh, also uh, if you manage to incorporate in your empire other races you will need to have food to feed them though they might be able to probably better to farm and thus uh, feed themselves. Now, 
that's the base value depending on the race this is the table you look you check the region terrain I think we can try to show this in a game yeah this is liquid so for them uh, you would look uh, on this table say I want to put a farm uh, don't look uh, on this by harvesting efficient this is a lie the game lines lots a lot of information on this panel it, it's bullshit some of it it's okay the population capacity works in current population it's vital information growth rate it's okay mining efficiency and bio harvesting efficiency are uh, blood and lies most of the times so you don't care that uh, terrain you, you have the graph here it's mountains uh, plains and broken uh, and the fertility rating Fertility, uh, this one is fertile, here we have alluvia, alluvial, alluvial region. Uh, so that's what you need if you want to, to calculate the base efficiency of a region, you don't look at what the game tells you. Bullshit lies. Uh, you look at the region type and the original fertility. The fertility of a region can be improved with um, by terraforming. And the uh, ecosystem uh, diversity, uh, density, ecosystem density can be improved with some technologies. You can have uh, some uh, regional uh, buildings that can improve it. So um, with time, your ability to, to farm o o on all planets will greatly increase and generate uh, money from farming. Um, let's go back to... Oh, let's try, uh, let's try another race as well. No, this uh, actually I think I could I can download the game with uh, let's, let's let's load some silence. Uh, planet, yeah, this planet has uh, some farming now. Let's let's pick a, a farming world. Let's pretty early save. It doesn't uh, actually uh, generate a ton of food yet, but, but it will. Uh, it would be lovely to, to load this save, uh, I don't know, uh, 30 turns later and see this planet are putting 150 food and, uh, and see what changed here. Um, again, for this, uh, let me minimize the other one. Since they are not um, cybernetics or uh, silicoids, for checking the base efficiency of, of this, um, by harvesting there, we would check the region. It's on plains and it has uh, alluvial fertility, so it's uh, the best you can get. Well, you can get lush, but that, that requires special terraforming. Uh, so that's it. The, the base efficiency would be 10 in that case. Uh, then there's some base efficiency modifiers, uh, additional uh, bonuses that add to that base. Uh, let's uh, refer to Mr. Uh, <laughs> Tom Hughes' uh, page. He'll tell you that there are some species modes. Uh, Mainly only the Elder Civilization Dantarans uh, get a bonus here. Uh, the playable races don't. Race picks, this is um, what you pick uh, if you, when you customize your, your race. Um, so what, what they, they have by default. Uh, superior will give you a bonus, small bonus of plus two. So that uh, Bioharm, biofarm on uh, planes and a large that had the 10 base, you, you add two, or if you had poor uh, bioharvesting, you would subtract one. Uh, this is uh, this multiplier here, uh, it's for the cash generation, it has no effect on its actual output. Uh, it has an indirect output uh, uh, effect on the cash generation. Because uh, actual produce amount is, is a factor there. 
and then there are a few technologies that also add to small amounts to that base capacity uh, and they name it here uh, automatic bio care by product processing and they even give you the technology level and how much uh, production points it costs to, to implement on the planet on, uh, on the particular day so some of them are planetary buildings and some of them are achievements achievements are um, apply immediately once you, once you get the technology you don't need to build an additional uh, building to attach to the day or to the planet to get that particular bonus and those are empire wide immediate bonuses um, what else could they add uh, that's that's about it let's go back to the formula so we there's a table for this there's uh, some technologies and uh, obviously the race pick that add to this the efficiency modes uh, we'll cover later and the data capacity I, i've already talked about basically it's one and again there's technologies that can improve it i think uh, tom hughes might even have uh, a few uh, example yeah those are the capacity technologies upgrades uh, by default it starts with one and then you can add uh, soil enrichment um, i think i even had it in this game this increases capacity by 50 percent again take this uh, description all using this description with a grain of salt uh, most of the times many of, of these things are are lying to you and automatic bio care it's uh, it's one of the efficiency the base efficiency um, modifiers Uh, and that's uh, basically uh, it for uh, bio harvesting uh, output uh, like i said uh, the great benefit for uh, bio harvesting gas is that uh, with time uh, by terraforming planets um, and by adding uh, improving regional biodiversity you can really uh, make almost all regions uh, suitable for farming at the start of the game you're going to to struggle to find uh, ideal planets for, for farming but it can be altered with technology uh, now the the amount of money generated by uh, by bio harvesting uh, one there is money generated from uh, rare byproducts just uh, this you calculate uh, uh, you go on, on the planet screen uh, this is uh, all this money is added to, to planet GDP gross uh, that you can then tax for money um, bio harvest produced this is uh, simple you read it from here though um, <clears throat> Keep in mind this value it's it's rounded it might it's somewhere between thirty two point five and thirty three point five uh, if you use the formulas you can uh, you can calculate this output with uh, more accurately and then uh, sum all the, the the outputs here all the days on the planet and you would reach a, a more accurate value of this if you want to to verify then you multiply with uh, the biodiversity factor this is a, a planet uh, characteristic uh, attribute uh, you read it here it is um, i think is the biodiversity and it's an average uh, from all the planet regions of uh, biodiversity to select region uh, ecosystem density dense and then you have sparse and then you have very dense then you have uh, again very sparse and he'll average this again with uh, technological improvements 
uh, by improving uh, regional uh, ecosystem uh, density uh, you will improve uh, the planet's uh, biodiversity rating so again you can uh, um, increase the the money uh, output of uh, of farms uh, their money value in time it will uh, never reach the the power of um, of mineral money generation but like you said the, the mineral worlds you get them rich or you don't uh, the, the bio harvesting you, you can uh, uh, engineer a bit but it takes quite a lot of tech to to get there then there's a two point five constant multiplier you can tune this in um, in the game config files you have this rare biotune value um, let's get back to, to the formula and then you multiply with uh, race peak race peak it's um, he was having it shown for uh, here for bio harvesting that's what the rare uh, thingy is when you when you pick um, bio harvesting superior good average or poor that's the multiplier for uh, for rare um, by by products so you get a 30% bonus for uh, rare bio products um, generated if you have uh, superior bio harvesting um, it helps it helps it helps with money generation now there's also uh, all the uh, all the races uh, that uh, eat food <laughs> uh, well except uh, silicon that only in minerals and you get 20 20 AU, uh, gold per um, by harvest unit uh, eaten by population and, and that's what, why I said uh, there's not there's no truly worthless planet even if you have a, a planet that doesn't do anything it's just filled with a ton of population uh, as long as you have food to feed them and, and, and they, they eat that food they will generate money they will not generate uh, this money necessarily on the planet they eat the food the money will go to the planet that is perhaps uh, feeding them uh, but um, again it, it, this is one uh, one simple reason to to try to uh, um, incentive to try to um, be able to colonize all worlds and uh, grow your population uh, empire population as, as high as possible because simply by existing population will will eat the uh, will eat food and generate money then uh, the food can also be used in uh, in industry deals and uh, will generate money by by being consumed again then use for by harvest unit used and also if there's a surplus uh, so nobody uh, you have enough uh, food to to feed all your uh, population and you are also have enough to uh, feed your industry and there's still some leftovers the leftovers are also generating money uh, on a lower efficiency but it's still money um, uh, you can check this here on the um, Empire overview. Uh, you see, uh, I, oh, oh, on the whole, on this side, Empire, I'm, I, I'm uh, at this stage in the game. I was uh, on the limit. I was almost, uh, almost out of uh, surplus food. Um, okay, let's let's go to the mining there. The mining there. Oh, uh, This uh, just a sec. This is for the industry. Day. Okay, <laughs> uh, forget that. The mining there has the same formula. 
only generates uh, minerals and the base efficiency will will be looking at in, in a different table the the base e efficiency for mining gas again this uh, type of there it's uh, terrain uh, dependent so let's go look for it um, I think he started with the with the mining there. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is the table we we, we were searching for. Um, depending on the um, uh, planet um, richness rating, and this you can read again in planet panel. It's it's here mineral rating very poor. So this. Uh, this particular planet, I don't have any mines on it because of it. Um, I mean, even even on mountains, on a very poor planet, it's it's basically a waste of uh, of there. You cannot um, cannot get anything. This um, for all races is the same. Mountains are better suited suited for uh, for mining. And obviously you prefer uh, uh, rich or very rich worlds, but um, and keep in mind on a very rich world, uh, or mine even on broken terrain will generate uh, just about the same as a mountain um, uh, mountain uh, mine on a, on a rich world. So probably want to to mine uh, hills even hills on, on very rich worlds and um, sometimes you'll be forced to uh, in the beginning uh, and on various levels of, of technologies in the empire when you have uh, capacity improvements for your industry or your population grows too much and you, you might be facing uh, mineral shortages you might be forced to, to mine um, even hills on a, on average uh, mineral rich worlds because you may simply not have enough rich and uh, very rich worlds and yeah <laughs> it, it can happen uh, the base efficiency modes uh, let's let's check those as well uh, again some species get uh, get a bonus um, no, dude, it's not a typo. We can check in the config file. Uh, the silicate get a pretty massive plus four uh, here. If you if you look at this, so the base from terrain that all the races will, will get will be uh, well, it can be twelve, but you're not going to get a lot of mountains on very rich planets. <laughs> uh, perhaps some mountains on rich planets, it's eight, and getting plus four. Uh, also, uh, to keep in mind that this plus four uh, applies whenever you you put your uh, your mine, uh, whichever region. So silicates or mining um, abundant. This is average, I think. This is a uh, in game. Uh, they call this different. The very poor, poor, rich, and very rich are the same. Uh, this is wrong. I think game it's it's average. It's they call it average. It it can double the output of of, of uh, uh, mountain uh, mines in uh, almost double it um, on average minerally rich world. Um, and also there, there there's the race peaks and look at the race peaks. Even if you pick uh, superior mining. You only get plus two. <laughs> the the silicate bonus is plus four. It's it's massive. Uh, Burrati it's an unplayable race. Uh, you, you might get uh, meet them in space and incorporate them in your empire, but it's not a playable race. Um, and there are also technologies that will. Uh, will add there automated mine if you look automated mine it doesn't add a lot uh, and uh, to a very rich mountain uh, mine 
uh, start plus 12, let's say uh, you apply in silicon, that will be plus uh, some superior mining uh, silicates because they come like that. So that would be 12 plus 4, 16 plus 2, 18. Adding, adding plus, plus 1 <laughs> might not look like much. But uh, if you, your empire is uh, in trouble, so, so, pro, percent wise it will not improve your mining output that much. But if you are um, forced to mine less than optimal, uh, optimal uh, areas, uh, then that uh, particular uh, technology improvement becomes more valuable. Plus, it's cheap. It doesn't cost a lot to build. You can build it in one turn in most uh, most worlds. And there, so those are um, uh, the attachments. Those are planetary buildings. You, you build this, it will affect all the ass on the planet. And this uh, is an achievement. It's a technology empire-wide uh, instantly applies. Uh, okay, let's get back to the formula. The efficiency modes, uh, I'll uh, again skip. Uh, we'll talk about them uh, on, the, on the end. They are exactly the same. They affect all, all uh, the areas on the planet the same. So there's no point in talking about them uh, uh, each and every time. And their uh, capacity, just as for all the areas, these capacities, um, you, Start with one, and it can be improved upon, and um, also increase the amount of population required to to use them. And uh, that is that is actually a very important fact. If you have um, I don't know a very huge world with lots of regions, and you uh, fill it with um, I don't know 24 industry there, you you never do that. Maybe maybe very late in the game, you still have the government there in the mix there. Um, let's assume you would want to do that early when the, the planet's not terraformed and you cannot hold a lot of people and you have uh, enough technology to add a lot of uh, attachments. The requirements, the population requirements to, to run that planet would be uh, enormous. And, uh, it is a factor. It is a factor on new worlds, of course. If you if you build too many deas and too many uh, dea attachments on new worlds, and you don't have enough population, uh, the, uh, all deas will run poorly because uh, it's uh, calculated globally. You can't say, okay, I have five people. Let's only work uh, the industry and uh, go there, for example. No. Uh, I have five people and I, the planet has 20, 24 deas with um, huge capacity improvements. So I'll probably get 1% output out of all deas. It's, it's something you need to, to pay attention to uh, throughout the game. That's the, the capacity and we can check here. He uh, gives us uh, some uh, improvements. Uh, they're apparently all uh, um, uh, their improvements. They like this here. So for each particular there, they will have to be built and uh, attached to it. Let's see if I have a, a world more suitable for mining to, to show an example for. This is average C. It's a, it's a different term in game for mineral enrichment, richness, and I at this point in the game I was forced to, forced to farm this. Um, yeah, this mine has uh, three uh, attachments. Uh, automated mine. This is a base efficiency, but deep, uh, deep extraction is uh, I think it's a capacity improvement. Yeah. That also increases the amount of population required to run. You, you see it here. Uh, the amount of population or uh, current amount of population on planet. Uh, how they calculate that. Uh, uh, minus the all the um, capacity requirements for all the ass on planets. Like I said, this, this goes up. Uh, greatly with uh, with capacity improvements on on, on your DAS. 
uh, money generated by mining. It, it mining it's the best money generator uh, in the game, uh, early game, um, medium game, and towards the late game, the industry will start to to compete, and the industry has uh, some advantages that it's not uh, dependent on. Uh, Planet uh, mineral richness factor or uh, having uh, the proper region, the mountain or, or uh, broken mountain will work the same on all or planets, all terrains. Uh, so the money generation again, like for um, similar to the bio harvesting, there you can. Uh, get money from uh, you do not you can you automatically get the money f from real byproducts and this is uh, again a very simple uh, formula the amount of minerals for each planet the amount of minerals generated on that planet that would be 32 here again with the okay that, that this is uh, an approximation it's uh, it's a rounded number uh, and you cannot see the actual number you could attempt to calculate by Calculating more accurately this, the, those are also uh, rounded numbers. So this could be 6.89 something. You can have fun and, and verify the game. Uh, and you multiply this with the um, uh, mineral rating on, on the world. Um, let's see where that table is. That's where the table is. Uh, see, you don't get a lot of uh, money from uh, uh, mining uh, average worlds, rich worlds. On the rich worlds, you'll be okay, but on, on the very rich worlds, this multiplier is it's pretty high. It's eight times. It's so mineral produced on a very rich planet. You multiply that by uh, um, eight and then by four, the constant, and then by uh, race peak, race peak. Um, for uh, for money generation, we've seen it here. It's when you pick uh, mining uh, mining efficiency between superior and poor. You can get a reduction on, on output here, or uh, again up to thirty percent bonus. So, regardless of the the race you play, uh, keeping in mind just how how insane uh, mining worlds can be for for uh, income uh, generation for your empire uh, trying to get superior uh, mining it's it's very worthwhile just thirty percent on top on something already great it's it's very nice um also by consuming so this is automatically you got by pro, pro producing the minerals and then what happens by consuming them uh if they are consumed as food like uh, i said some races consume them as food uh we can check that uh, on um, on this table here, uh, it's more, way more accurate. This is um, one of the game config files which you can alter. It's way more accurate than uh, what the game interface shows you when when you get to pick your to do those actual picks. The descriptions are um, <laughs> mostly false, uh, unfortunately, and that will add it, of course, greatly to to the negative reviews of the game if. <laughs> you would pick uh, some things based on what they were saying they, they would do there and then try to play the game and <laughs> uh, <laughs> will not go the way you expect it to go obviously you would be disappointed but uh, this uh, this column here for each race see the, the mechanic race the McLaren and the cybernetic race. McLaren and Sinoid, they, they eat 50% food and 50% uh, mineral. Uh, they don't eat 100% food. So that's for one population unit, they would eat one food. That would be humans. But the um, cybernetics would, for one population 
you need they would need uh, 0.5 uh, food and 0.5 mineral to, to be uh, properly fed and also we have the um, Silicates which are uh, a bit different, they don't eat food at all. And for one population of um, unit, uh, they would consume uh, 0.75 uh, mineral. That's mineral food. It's not minimum food. <laughs> uh, this is uh, probably amount of food generated by uh, I don't know what those other uh, uh, rows do. Uh, we'll get back to this. Uh, uh, these modifiers uh, later uh, but here here it shows we talked about uh, silicoid uh, mining uh, bonus come on where are the silicoids silicoids you get to see they have a, a penalty to growth rate uh, 85 percent and uh, that uh, plus four huge uh, plus four mine efficiency no other race gets Mm. let's get back to money generation so this only applies to silicoids and the cybernetic races they can, the more of these guys you have the more money they will generate for you by eating the minerals uh, also by using in industry you get 50 euros per mineral consumed in industry uh, there are some technologies that uh, increase um, uh, industry efficiency, so industry will consume less minerals. You will get <laughs> you will get a bit less money for for it being burned in, in industry, but you'll be grateful for that. There will be uh, most games games by uh, trying to expand as fast as possible. Um, you, you will have to deal with some mineral shortages so it's not going to bother you that much and excess minerals uh, sold off um, again you get uh, some tiny, tiny amounts of money now the, um, the industry there uh, works uh, the same uh, the, only that uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> not quite the same it, it consumes let's show it in game uh, I don't have an example of a, a very advanced uh, industry uh, there with some capacity you can make it also consume food uh, that's basically the, the point but uh, unlike those uh, mining and uh, bio harvesting there's that only generate output industry must be fed uh, first it consumes minerals to generate uh, cement and later on it will also be able to consume uh, some food as well to generate uh, even more cement uh, that's what those formulas below are how, how the amount of minerals consume and the amount of bio harvest consume but for the pure uh, output formula is the same that's what I meant as, as the others so base efficiency, base efficiency modes their capacity which are two separate capacities for um, let's let's call it mineral <laughs> capacity and their organic capacity and you'll have different um, technologies and um, add-ons that uh, will add for, for one or another um, unfortunately mr tom hughes uh, did not uh, <laughs> did not uh, show how this works we have uh, um, one of uh, i managed to dig up uh, one of the um, development team um, um, this is pre-release uh, document so it's not entirely accurate uh, i'm certain uh, here on money generation these values are wrong this is okay this is the base value this 15 values okay this craftsmanship um, developments here this is not oh and, and, and even this one excuse me this is wrong this in game this is 10 base value for manufacturing is uh, we can check this again in game industry EU per output it, it, it's actually 10 it's lower they, they change this so
let's start with the basic formula base efficiency capacity the efficiency model we talk later base uh, efficiency for manufacturing you don't get it on the ta on a table since it doesn't depend on uh, terrain or um, world uh, factors like mineral richness or if it's on mountains or broken whatever it's the same everywhere it's uh, it's always 20 um efficiency modes some races get bonuses to to manufacturing by default uh those are playing races, McLaren, Sino, Edim, Saez, Euladi. Those are correct, you can check them in the race modifier uh, config file. If we look here for um, Euladi, for example, you get manufacturer efficiency, C plus 4. Edim says plus 4 manufacturing efficiency, and also the Cyanide and the McLaren. They get this. Um, um, also the race pick also applies here also also applies <laughs> uh, manufacturing uh, pick uh, what what are those race pick i uh, i keep talking about here when you, when you get to uh, create a race and i think you can even if you don't customize your race you can check them in game uh, all the time you, you go game menu race picks and you see what you picked for your race so these Psylons I am manufacturing is superior. And he tells you some, some things here, but the, it's lying <laughs> most of the time. The, like I said, those descriptions. So my, my Psylons have average uh, manufacturing and uh, they have, uh, they pick here average uh, mining and poor, there's a dot here. For harvesting, bio harvesting. This this is what I talk when I when I when I refer to race picks, um, natural engineers, and so on. So you can check them. Uh, this is how the the default races come, and also you can alter them a bit uh, using some uh, some race pick uh, costs. You can balance those. Uh, here is on a new game. Let's minimize the, uh, the other. On a new game, you get to customize. Uh, no, this is this is not a new game. This is a this is a game in progress, and I uh, I want to 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 check the race picks. But if you if you if you pick a new game and uh, you have the option to customize and alter those a bit. And that's the values you'd get. So if you go, um, let's say you go Meckler with uh, superior manufacturing, your efficiency will go from the base 20, you would add 4 and you would add 8. That would be 32. It would be a, a great improvement already. Base efficiency modes, and there's also some. Uh, and achievements, there's no achievements apparently that add unless the um, Antaran uh, X5. Uh, Those are some expeditions you can do in the game. Later in the game, you can um, uh, send huge uh, expeditions. Uh, basically, designate uh, a big amount of ships and you tell them to go search for this and. Uh, Eventually, with a bit of luck, they'll find it, and it will give you various uh, various bonuses for, for your technology. This is one of them. It, it in greatly increases your manufacturing efficiency. <laughs> then uh, the efficiency mode again uh, we'll talk about later. Capacity, like for all the others, um, um, uh, there is. Um, uh, you can uh, improve with technologies. The KVAT for uh, industry days, of course, there's two types. There's the mineral capacity and the organic processing capacity. And I think he even gives us some technologies here. Uh, automated factories increases capacity by 0.5. Uh, robotic plus one manufactories and the other one. For organic capacity, organic factories will add 0.5 recycling bioprocessing. Uh, those are pretty, pretty late game technologies you, 
if you look at uh, them here there is an achievement uh, that increases capacity for uh, this is a dangerous achievement uh, remember achievements apply uh, instantly to your entire empire so this is on a snap of the finger your um, requirements for uh, mineral and food on, on, on the empire gets, gets a huge boost with the other ones at least you know it takes time for each uh, for each industry there to, to to slowly add this on on a huge planet i don't know 20 20 industry deaths um and let's say it, it, it takes one or perhaps two turns to build each one of these you'll have from the time you, you unlock this technology until you it's get implemented through all your empire you might have i don't know 20 turns 30 turns until it, it has a significant impact uh, an achievement on the other side boom and it's probably very likely to put you into mineral deficit because it would increase the the requirements so so sudden um, and here is the the amount of uh, minerals and uh, bio harvest consumed the formula is exactly the same as the output uh, formula but there's also a factor called conversion rate and the, the, this conversion rate i think you can <coughs> dig from uh, to it uh, in the config uh, game config i don't know if i if i'll be able to to find it uh, quickly, but uh, I'm certain it, it has to be in this table here. Factory conversion rate um, basically, with uh, unlocking various technologies, you will make your um, uh, industry consume uh, less, uh, less mineral, be more efficient. We will, Consume the same amount of in, uh, industry, consuming uh, less minerals and less uh, uh, food, bio harvest, and uh, money generated by industry. If you uh, again, I, I copied from uh, from above the um, uh, money by burning uh, minerals and uh, food. It's uh, it's not so high as uh, with the uh, mining there and keep in mind keep in mind if you have an all industry world let's say you put 20 industry there on a planet and they consume huge amounts of minerals this money this money will go to the planet uh, that is actually mining is generating the minerals you're importing the mine uh, uh, the mineral so it will not go to the industry world this is an important distinction to make this is what makes uh, your um, your mineral world so, so so powerful money generator uh, generators other planets in your empire burning off the mineral would generate the money to the planet that uh, that's making the mine the industry that will not make the money for the on the planet it is on uh, unless the the mine it's, it happens to be on on the same planet, but industry can can actually generate money on its own for for the planet it, it, it is on. Why is this important? It's important when you consider the potential of having uh, an all industry planet. Um, if you remember, if you watched the previous video, uh, I can quickly go into the game no no production happens in this game on based on cement alone you must add money if you if the planet cannot generate money you cannot have production where is the money going to come from you cannot uh, uh, if you remember each uh, planet economy it's uh, self contained you cannot inject money from uh, for uh, from empire at will there are some sliders with AI that randomly will decide to to 
to put some money on on some planets but generally you, you don't have free reign on, on what happens with the money you, you need to be able to generate money locally and that's that's how it happens this is the formula uh, it's the cement unit generated will, will make money uh, keep in mind cement is generated also by by population without any industry there and but mostly from uh, industry there and the formula is here a base value which is 10 in the game i think this uh, uh, this has it wrong here uh, at 15 uh, plus craftsmanship uh, advancements again uh, the game has it uh, this uh, is outdated this information there are various technologies that um, excuse me, uh, increase the amount of um, of uh, gold generated by uh, by industry. So uh, this is why, as uh, as the game advances, the uh, industry become uh, more and more capable of um, 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 paying for themselves to, to supply the money they need to. To, to make production the technologies are still in the game but um, the values are outdated the, the order might be different actually in the game but that's the point uh, eventually industry becomes a much greater money generator uh, with the technology advancement advancements and also there's the craftsmanship modifier uh, this is again uh, when you pick um, the manufacturing um, superior uh, from superior to poor uh, there's a, this is that multiplier the craftsmanship modifier it's can be go from 1.2 to uh, 0.9 Again, uh, ideally you would want to have uh, superior manufacturing. It will greatly improve the, the amount of money your uh, industry generates. Um, need to take a short break. Yeah, back. Let's uh, move on to the. Um, Okay, now now we're recording again. Um, research there, same formula, the base efficiency uh, again similar to manufacturing uh, in industry there. Uh, it doesn't care uh, about uh, planet uh, configuration, its mineral enrichment, its, uh, its fertility, whatever. Um, on an indirect level, it it does because also it requires some population to run. So more fertile planets are going to grow population faster. But uh, directly in the region and the planet you, you put it on, it doesn't care. The base efficiency is always ten. Then are there are some base efficiency mods? Um, again, like for the other days, those are special. Uh, species uh, related and uh, humans uh, get uh, plus uh, plus 0.5 to that 10 base uh, again you can check that in uh, the race modifier no, don't trust the game uh, description you can check here for human to search efficiency 0.5 bonus 0.5 bonus and he wants get a plus 5 bonus and silence which is the research race will get a plus 3 uh, which uh, um, in terms of uh, percent page, that would be a thirty percent bonus. Um, humans only get uh, five percent. <laughs> uh, yeah, not a lot. Uh, only the silence get uh, get a big, uh, big advantage there, and also the race pick uh, from uh, for research. Uh, you can get for uh, from uh, minus uh, six. And if you look here, a base efficiency for research, it's crippling. It, 
it's actually a, a 60% uh, decrease. Is the, the, the manufacture on the manufacturing there because the base is it's higher, it's 20%. Um, plus minus eight, I think uh, it's a, the lower value it's minus four. So having poor um, uh, poor manufacturing, I could write them here. So the base is twenty. Race peaks with uh, some some races can get plus four, and uh, the actual uh, the special species bonus can be plus four. Here for uh, for four of the playing races, and then you get um, plus eight or plus. No, not to put this plus eight, plus four, uh, zero for um, average, and minus four for uh, poor manufacturing. If you look at the the base output here, yeah, you can get. 16 it's it's percentage wise it's not such a huge reduction even with poor uh, poor manufacturing but for research there with base efficiency 10 getting getting six uh, shaved off there it's it's huge it's huge I'm, i'd be really 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 scared to play um, any race with uh, with minus six. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I think this is a typo on, on my part. I, I think it, that's how it works. It, it's minus three. It's still, uh, it's still pretty, pretty serious uh, reduction. Yes, the, the, those are the race picks. Sorry uh, about that. It's, it's up to minus three on, on poor research. Minus six would, would have been <laughs> broken. Yeah. Um, those are the base efficiency modes. There's going to be a, a lot of technologies that that add to this. Uh, various amounts. I I didn't find a, a page. Having I mean, let's see if uh, if one of my my save games uh, would have an example. Uh, unfortunately. That may not be the case. Let's see. Let's. Um, this is a more advanced world. Do you have? Uh, no, that is a capacity increase. This one, you see. Okay. The one example uh, regional uh, research network adds plus three to the efficiency. Um, that's that's where it would add in, in, uh, in this part of the formula. Then you have the obvious e efficiency modes that are the same for all this, and we're getting close to to explaining how they work. And their capacity upgrades. Uh, you already saw an example in game at fifty percent, and it starts at one capacity one, and then you can increase this with the cable that. Uh, Unlike the efficiency multipliers, the, this uh, also will increase the, the amount of population required to uh, to run the, that particular there. Um, the efficiency mods. So uh, let's finally talk ab about those. Uh, gravity. If uh, the planet is of the species prefer gravity and different species prefer different type of gravity, it ranges in game from uh, low, uh, I think, no, negligible, low, uh, medium, uh, high and extreme. I think those are the levels. And if you're on the dot with what your race requires, there's no penalties, but uh, Yes, this is like that. Number one, no penalty in the right uh, gravity type, and it's 0.75. If you you're a bit off, and then you know, there's a crippling 
so gravity if you look at it, it it can have a massive effect on the productivity of all deas on, on on the planet then there's unrest we talked about this in the previous video if the population on planet is content fine if not we get to uh, unrest level 1 that's 0.75 uh, unrest level 2.5 unrest level 3 is 0.25 it's <laughs> the output it's almost non-existent and you can even get up to <laughs> uh, no, pro no production at all uh, with enough unrest infrastructure this one starts uh, at zero uh, there's our original upgrades and uh, you can uh, add to this uh, I think the first uh, upgrade it's uh, already starts at 1 uh, you can go to like this 20% bonus and uh, I'm suspecting the other uh, infrastructure uh, upgrades will add here so we have uh, they're not uh, multiplying among, amongst themselves. It is a multiplicative bonus, but uh, you add the various uh, uh, technologies. I think that's how it works. Uh, planet region spatials. Well, I don't have uh, one to show you here. The game has. Uh, um, file with specials that can be various effects. You know, I don't know, planet which has any, it can give various uh, percentage bonus to um, your uh, the ask. Uh, also, I think uh, here on the base efficiency mods, also the, the some of the planet specials uh, apply there. Um, we just read the special uh, description and play the game. <laughs> it's not lying to you. And we'll try to run the numbers and see if it checks up. Um, government, the, uh, the economic boost. That is a very important boost to talk about it. So, at this point, I think this is my. Uh, no, I already moved it. At this point in the game, Boyo 1 is no longer my imperial seat. The government the US, can produce this. Uh, uh, this is a boost to productivity to all the uh, US on planet. All other the on planet. I haven't checked how uh, multiple government the US, uh, this bonus stacks. Uh, I think there are some, I know there are some diminishing returns, um, but one thing you you must know for certain from the beginning, uh, and it doesn't say in the game, is that the imperial, the system seat of the government, government and you can have, yeah, excuse me, you can only have one such there uh, uh, in a government there on per system, solar system, so let's see. Come on, go home. Uh, let's pick a solar system with multiple more planets. Let's go to this one. This solar system has uh, eight planets, but uh, notice this sign here. Only one of them can uh, can be the system seat. This would be the planet that would uh, the solar system uh, tax would go to if I were to use it. I don't use it, but also this is the planet that has uh, the government there with the um, uh, system seat of government. And uh, this is, among other things, is uh, this gives a capacity upgrade to your um, economic uh, economic boosts. If you and let's go back to to the imperial seat of the government. Uh, obviously, you can only have one of those. It's gonna sit on your uh, empire um, center world. 
Um, why are those important? Notice the difference on the, on the power of the bonus. This one it, it's uh, even higher because it also has the imperial seat of the government. Obviously very powerful bonus, but this one you can only have one per empire. So uh, it's important to put this on um, on uh, the most important planet on, of, of your empire. To, to make usage of that uh, one time bonus, you only get one, a single planet on your entire planet to, to have that bonus. The system seat you can have one per, uh, per solar system, but the empire bonus is specifically one planet in your entire empire. Uh, in, at the game start, obviously, that will be your homework, but uh, your homework it's not. Uh, a very special world in, in, in a big galaxy. Uh, eventually, you will have, uh, you will find the larger worlds, um, uh, larger, richer worlds, and eventually you will. Uh, uh, it would uh, help you to, to to migrate the, the imperial seat and that powerful bonus it brings to 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 this planet. If, if we go back again to this planet, it, it, it has a, it's very rich. It, at this point in the game, I don't know, turn 134, it has pretty huge uh, mineral output. And a big part of that uh, huge mineral output, it's the 40% bonus and it's, it's going to get higher as the planet uh, productivity from population increases. As I migrate more people and uh, as I terraform it and uh, it grows more population, but also I, I'm migrating people here to fill the planet up. Uh, this can go, I've seen it as high as 180%. So, <laughs> uh, late game is probably not gonna happen, it's more likely to happen early game because. You only have very few deas with limited capacity, and you don't need a lot of population to, to get that over capacity. Uh, later game, um, the requirements for population keeps going up with all the capacity upgrades you add to your planet, to your deas, but the, the total capacity for population on the planet is limited. So this planet can support, I don't know, 30, 30 people. With terraforming and some technologies and improvement, you can increase this, but only to, to a certain limit. Uh, but again, to what I was saying, this uh, huge mineral output number, 832, it's uh, also a big part of that is that this huge 40% bonus uh, from the government there with uh, imperial seat and system seat of the government. This huge 40% bonus I'm not getting on any other planet uh, on my empire. So all the other planets only have, let's try to, let's go to this planet. Um, Without the Imperial Seat, see, this one goes to 24%, this one 27 uh, It's still a significant bonus, uh, that's why it's also important to consider where you, you put your system seat uh, of the government on, on a particular solar system, again, the most productive uh, a planet on a, on a solar system should get this because this bonus is again significant. And then we have planets that are not, um, for example, Moyo here. This planet it's not uh, Empire system seat. It's not uh, um, solar system seat. It's just a regular government there. Yeah which is going to be most of your deaths, and then the, this bonus, it, it's lower, it's lower. This particular death doesn't have all the economic increases, I think I have another technology, um, so that 7% it's a bit low, it, it should be a bit higher, a bit at this point on the game. 
can check again what kind of economic capacity increases I have. So this one is economic capacity by one, and also this one, the lending association, which is missing. Mm, if I were to, to erase this, this uh, government there with the, the system seat and imperial seat and all those uh, huge bonuses, the, the planet uh, value would, would go down significantly by 40%. 40 40 okay, um, this is uh, all I had to say about um, about the government there uh, what else so uh, government specific bonuses government form this would be here on empire government type you get to choose your government type there's a few options for uh, for each race uh, Keep in mind this uh, text here it's bogus and it's actually in many cases the exact opposite of the actual bonuses you get in the game. Uh, you can check them for the basic deas. I think um, Tommy Hughes has a, a simple table here, easy to check, uh, but it doesn't cover all deas because there's there's more. Uh, there are additional areas the government mods effect uh, again keeping in mind that the mineral output it's uh, it's such a huge factor of, uh, of your, your dual world will be mineral you might want to pay special attention to the to the government types that increase mining output because this will directly increase your uh, your um, income output uh, this page, uh, Schumas, uh, Schumas Government Strategy Series, uh, has uh, a bit more uh, them a bit more detailed. The government bonuses. And if that is not uh, enough for you, you can go into the game files and choose and uh, see for yourself the <laughs> the bonuses. Okay, uh, that's for um, for the government multipliers. Again, it depends from government type to and to their type. They have uh, various uh, ups and downs. And their productivity from population. Uh, I've already touched on that uh, a few times. Um, it is the um, the number they show here and how they calculate its total total current population on planet and versus um, the sum of uh, population requirements of all the tiers on planet and with the caveat, uh, caveat that um, these requirements go up as you add more capacity increases to your uh, there's N plus, uh, not all deas are created equal. Industry deas require a lot more population than mining deas. So, again, uh, an old industry world, it, it's, uh, it's something uh, late game. You're not going to do, to do this early. Uh, do we have anything else left to talk about? Uh, it's very crucial. It's, I'm going to, uh, to touch about it in, when I'm, when I'm going to do the actual let's play, but it's very easy to go to a new planet with one population unit and build, uh, uh, let's say a bit later, you have three population units and you finally manage to get an industry there up and then build, uh, 12 more um, <laughs> industry deas and uh, then the, the productivity from population is, is going to plummet like a, like a rock. See, this is a game where, where I've been paying uh, attention and I don't have a lot of 
here this would be an, an alarm sign for me, it would tell me to stop adding uh, capacity there's to, to this population and also to turn on migration for, for this world. <coughs> and as you can see, that's why I'm migrating people to, to SCAD to here. It doesn't have enough population. Um, see another alarm here. What happens? Uh, ooh. This is probably a new world, yeah, with with a ton of industry deaths. <laughs> yeah, what do you know? Yeah. Uh, one one situation that can occur. You see, you have uh, your um, world, your um, big. Um, um, mineral uh, uh, exporting world if you check this 800 uh, minerals per turn uh, make up for a third of my my mineral requirement empire wide at this point it's very very significant part if i were to get this world brocaded or entire um, empire would, <laughs> would be basically dead in its tracks um, if I were to suddenly, the planet is fully fully built right now with the um, amount of deaths, but let's say I would to get a technology that would increase the, the capacity of all those uh, by one. So that would be an increase by, let's see, would be an achievement that increases capacity for all deaths. I don't know if such a thing even exists by plus one. The, typically, what you do is you add uh, more deas and capacity, and this number goes down, and with it, the current output of all the deas that are on the planet. If I were de uh, depending on this pl uh, planet to output um, um, 800 minerals per turn, and some something were to happen to this population. To this uh, percentage here, because I, I increase the capacity of all the ass and the population remains the same. Let's say next turn this goes to 60%. Well, my 800 minerals per turn output also go down to, let's say, 600 next turn. And I'm starting to, to face crisis again. At this point in the game, it's, it's not like, such likely, but it, it can happen uh, early in, in the game and we'll see it happen. It's something you need to, to watch out uh, greatly. All, always be in control of the uh, of this number. Always uh, uh, watch out and watch what direction is going. Uh, if it's going up or down. You must you must be in control if you want to to, to know what you can uh, count on. The outputs of uh, various deaths in the planet. Same about the food. If you have a food world and it has, say, five industries and you just uh, deaths also, and it, it's the world that is providing, I don't know, 50% uh, of your empire needs. Uh, again, more likely to happen early game when you don't have that many farm worlds and you have um, uh, five also in five industry deaths on that planet, this is a big planet, and you get a uh, capacity upgrade for your industry, let's say automatic factories, and you quickly build in, in five turns, you you build all those, and that's uh, 25 uh, to extra 2.5 capacity on that planet, the, the productivity from a population on that planet will go back and will go down, and also means that the, the food output of all the deaths on that planet would go down and perhaps uh, just by adding those uh, without thinking, quickly adding those capacity to, to your industry deaths, you just uh, put your um, uh, empire in a food crisis. Lots and lots of, uh, of things you must uh, be wary of uh, at all times uh, in this game. Uh, did I cover everything? Oh, yes, there is also 
population output that we must touch uh, on is very important um, as uh, you might already know uh, population uh, by itself without any without any they are pre present on, on the planet will generate um, you know, cement units and uh, as you know cement by itself you, you've checked this here uh, this formula here will also generate some some money and this is important for new worlds a new world will not have any industry they are already built the only way to get production points to to build anything to get it started is to use this uh, cement from population and uh, the way to to pay for it is the empire grant which you must be careful to to make certain it reaches the planet because you can mess up and fail that one time opportunity and then is the tiny amount of money generated by this cement that you will have to to pay for uh, if you run out of money on that planet to fuel the the production uh, by default uh, all uh, races uh, produce three cement units per population unit uh, the race peak um, and those uh, again this is the the manufacturing uh, pick from superior manufacturing to poor manufacturing uh, again keep in mind that if you go and, and pick a race with poor manufacturing new colonies uh, will take a lot longer to be able to to get that first uh, uh, they are off the ground so going from uh, three uh, cement units per population unit to two, that's a pretty significant uh, reduction. You must be really careful here. On the other side, if you have a race with um, superior manufacturing and also happen to have uh, this natural engineer peak, uh, you get to six uh, cement units per population. And what that means is will be new worlds will be um, Light years faster uh, uh, in, uh, into uh, getting the first uh, um, industry there online, and you will have to waste uh, way less money over uh, over driving on only three or two uh, cement units uh, early. It, it's very 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 important to have, and there are some multiplicative bonuses that. Uh, these are some uh, planetary buildings you can build. Uh, Astro University, uh, I think that's a point, uh, 1.4 multiplier, 40%. Uh, that, uh, but this Astro University takes a lot of production to build. You're not going to have on, on new planets. It's not a factor on, uh, on getting new planets online. This is a factor on uh, highly developed worlds. Uh, highly terraform worlds with, with huge populations. Uh, at some point, uh, the the cement uh, from population on, on this, um, very uh, huge worlds uh, because of these bonuses can um, uh, literally add uh, um, the equivalent of uh, one industry there or even more. Uh, later in the game and also there's the system university building which again it's um, multiplicative it's 1.3 uh, 30% uh, on top of the 40% uh, but uh, this uh, this is uh, bugged it's supposed to apply this bonus to all um, you can only build it in the in the system seat world Again, important to pick that uh, world, uh, another reason to pick it well. Uh, but um, uh, it doesn't work as advertised. It doesn't provide the bonus to, to all the, the planets in the system. It only pl provides the bonus on the planet it is built, which is uh, very sad. But again, this, these buildings are not uh, never going to be a factor on new planets unless... Uh, very late in the game, you're able to to inject massive amounts of population at, at planet creation. You drop like I don't know uh, 20 colony pods on the same turn, and then you have enough population to 
to build this very quickly. I want to do uh, turns, but again, this is this far into the future. Does not does not affect uh, uh, early game. And population also by itself generates uh, test tubes. And um, uh, this is how it works. Uh, by default, it generates one test tube. Uh, race peak. Uh, this is research race peak. Uh, can uh, make that uh, up to two uh, uh, test tubes per po population unit or. Uh, 1.5. Uh, this is the average. Uh, and um, if you choose poor research, it uh, it subtracts 0.5, so it's it will have uh, less uh, less research from population. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really have an effect um, that big of an effect. Uh, Early to mid game, to early early mid game. But once you get uh, huge um, huge planets with uh, huge amounts of population, and you get the astro university and system university in place, uh, the amount of test tube generated by population on such a planet might actually become a a factor competing uh, a significant uh, factor. And that is uh, all I, I, I had to say about their output. There is also um, the spaceport there, uh, which I'm not going to talk since uh, I don't have a lot of data on. I know uh, without upgrades, they only uh, trade uh, uh, on the same planet, and they're supposed to add. Uh, Certain amount of money to planet GDP. I I'm, I will never. I'm not aware of how much. I, I I need to run some tests and go to a system and rip up some function uh, spaceports and see if um, if uh, and by how much uh, the the GDP goes down. Uh, with uh, with some technological uh, advancements, the spaceports become uh, capable of trading with the planets, other planets in the same solar system, and then even with planets on uh, different solar systems. Uh, it's based on the number of jumps between the systems, so we only trade with uh, neighboring uh, systems. Uh, what I uh, what I do know and, and what I can say is the amount of uh, money it generates early to mid game spaceports is insignificant. <laughs> uh, it, it, it it does not compare with uh, mining, uh, bio harvesting, or, or industry. It's something like uh, it might it probably it just barely covers uh, spaceport um, maintenance cost. Yes, all all those buildings. Do the cost, uh, cost uh, and the uh, the as also count of as buildings. They cost maintenance uh, every turn. You pay for them. Uh, uh, later in the game, the spaceports do seem to to start to generate uh, a bit more money. But even even by then, I I don't know if it's if if it. It can never reach any, any significance. So, so far, uh, based on my experience with the game, I, I'm I'm not convinced. Uh, and that's that's it. That's all I had to say uh, about uh, the uh, the output. Uh, in the next video, we should contain the actual uh, the actual let's play gameplay. My